Korea posted stable growth last year in terms of outbound shipments, exports and R&D investments. But are Korean companies going to be able to maintain that momentum and protect themselves from external risks as we head further into 2015? Here's our Song Ji-san with the outlook. Korea fared relatively well last year despite slowing global demand and a sluggish economic recovery at home. But the outlook for this year is not at all that bright. The machineries and semiconductor industries are expected to enjoy growth this year, backed by steady demand from the U.S. Free trade agreements struck with a dozen countries in recent years have given a boost to the auto, auto parts and textile sectors. But handset producers will be faced with tough competition in the global market, especially in China, where cheap local manufacturers like Xiaomi and Huawei are quickly gaining ground on Samsung and LG Electronics. Chinese companies are catching up with Korean manufacturers in terms of their technological advances and their cheap prices and mass production capabilities help their output surpass Korea's, both in the shipbuilding and auto sectors. Considering that half of Korean export items compete with Japanese products on the international stage, the weakening Japanese yen remains a risk for Korean exporters. Industry analysts say companies need to stick to what they're good at while improving their quality and reducing costs. Companies must give up on sectors that are not performing well and focus their resources and manpower on sectors that are excelling in the market. In fact, the overhaul has already started. Samsung sold its petrochemical sectors to Hanhua Group last year, while Hyundai Steel acquired Dongbu Special Steel. Such M&As and restructuring will speed up this year. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.